Hello there guys, it's Charlie from Outcast Gaming here, and we are going to take a bit of a break from both Barrows and Skilling. I've kind of, I've been thinking the past couple of days that I really would like to come back to the money making guides, and that's what I'm going to do today. So today we're going to do a Green Dragon Bones and Dragon Hides. Um, for this, I'll just show you quickly on the map if we can load that up. There it is. Lost it for a second then. Okay, so we're at Damonheim right now, and the dragons are around here. This is where you'll fight the green dragons, and the path that you want to take is you want to teleport to Damonheim. I'll tell you how to do that in a minute, but you should have seen that in my prior videos. You run down here, run along this path, just keep running down, 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 down. Then you cross through this gate. Um, there is a certain type of gear set you will want, because there is a chance that you will get PK'd, and you don't want the risk to be too high. The way that I do it, the risk is like minimal, you don't lose anything. You can do it with some extra foods and bits and bobs if you if you wish. Okay, so if we go back into the game quickly, firstly, to get to Daemonheim, you really want to use the Ring of Kinship. And you basically get this from talking to the Dungeoneering Shooter that stood basically right out the front of all of the tunnels. Okay, and to teleport here, you right-click the ring and then click Teleport to Daemonheim. It will bring up this weird cube-like structure, you'll fly up into the air, and then you'll appear somewhere around here. There you go. Okay, so I, I appeared just down at the end of the stairs. If you don't have this ring, the way to get it is you really have to go to... Where is it? There you go. You have to go to Alcarid and you have to go to the dock. At this dock, there'll be a boat. If you speak to the guy that's by the boat, he will ask if you wish to travel to Damonheim. You basically just say yes. You'll travel all the way up this river, all the way up, and you get to this point. When you're at this point, you just have to run up through a couple little staircases and then you're here as i said before you talk to this guy and you're set and that's it the other piece of gear that you will need for this is your best single hand or dual wield weapons i would dual wield but i have the abyssal whip so i'm just going to use that but you can use dual skimmies dual rune swords this is a members only mon money making guide i will put that in the description so hopefully the people that are at this point of the video will already know the dragons are a members only uh, enemy. So this whip cost about 82k and I think it's a 60 attack whip. Oh no, sorry, a 70 attack whip. Um, it's great for killing these dragons as you'll see in a minute. I'll do a quick run through where I'll get a few pieces. Okay, so if we start running down now, I'll just explain a bit more about it. Basically, if you're at this point, you can most probably do Barrows runs. And as you've seen in my prior videos, Barrows is the general way I like to make money. Just because it feels great when you play it for an extremely long amount of time and then you finally get a drop. It's like you've really achieved some, some, something. What occasionally happens though is I will do Barrows, I'll earn a ton of money from it. And then I'll end up buying a set like hopefully in the near future I'll be buying an Armadil set. And that will pretty much use ev all of my savings from the Barrows runs I've done while being on YouTube. What I'll end up doing is if I ever need food... I will just come and do a little run to these green dragons. Firstly, I'll explain the bit I'd, we just saw there. So we look, we just passed through this gate, and he basically said, if you pass through here, your items aren't safe, so you can lose them. Basically, if as long as you don't skull, so as long as you don't attack another player, your items, up to three of your most valued items, will, will be safe. So, unfortunately, if I die, I'll lose the Ring of Kinship, because it is a non-tradable, it's almost like a quest item, so that will be lost, but the Abyssal Whip will be kept. Also, other things you can have, so you could have a torso and a shield, or a torso and an offhand, or a torso and an ami, and it would all be safe. So you can pretty much half-gear your character, and all of those items will be safe. That's just to minimise risk, because it's really not worth it. Each run here is worth about 50k, and clearly the whip is 82, so that's about one and a sick, uh, like um, three sick for runs. So you just kind of, you've got to be careful. But as long as you don't have any more, as long as you you don't go and attack a player, uh, then that will be fine. So if we just walk up here, we literally run in a straight line. It's about a level 22 you want to be, and here you go. There's some dragons here. Okay, there's another guy here, and this is going to be something I'm going to show you guys. So if you ever see anyone else here, you want to say bot in chat. If they don't reply, they're most probably a green dragon bot. We can tend to find this out by just examining their character if they've got it on private. If we go to their skills, we can tell if they're a bot or not. 
From the skills that this character has, I would say that they are a bot. So chances are we can attack them without any prob 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 problems. I would also say the person that has just run up here is also a bot. So if we just attack this player quickly... Hello? Oh, that's a real shame. Because his attack level is so low, we can't attack that player. And that's actually quite smart of them. Look how many bots there are. So basically anyone like this is a bot. Unfortunately, because my combat level is so high, I can't attack them. I'm guessing all of these are being run off of the same computer. I will do a video where I kill bots and see how much faster it is to killing the green dragons. So, But if we just ignore these bots for now, we'll run down and we'll kill a green dragon. So basically, while we're killing this, um, it will use magic and uh, like the general melee. Uh, its magic tends to do a lot more damage. What you can bring is an anti for, uh, like an anti dragon shield, which are very cheap, and uh, will really help with these runs. So I'm just going to do these two for now, just to show you guys, and you can get a gist of the idea. You can probably do a run in about five minutes if you're very quick. Okay. So that's two, and that's all I'm going to say. So for one dragon kill, it's three and a half K, and you can get 28, so I can kill 14 dragons and pick up their loot. So 14 times that will be what, 30, 50 K. So it's 50 K per run, like I said before. Whenever you're done, and when, when whenever your inventory is full, if you just run back towards the spawn, you need to get under level 18 will wilderness. When you're at that point, if you go into your equipped items and click teleport, you can teleport straight back to where we start 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 started. I'm sorry about my stammer there guys. That was appalling. If we walk back up these stairs, we can then use the bank. And basically the bank will allow us to deposit any goods that we get while uh, killing the dragons. So basically what I tend to do is I'll create a new tab and I'll just put my loot in there. As it carries on, my loot will all just pile in there, pile in there, pile in there, and then once I'm done, I'll take it out in noted form and I'll sell it to the Grand Exchange. And that's kind of it, guys. This is the video for today. Um, like I said, the Barrows runs will be coming back, and I will be doing more update videos on my Fire Making 99. Currently, that hasn't changed a lot, I'm not going to lie. I haven't had a lot of time. I've only got a week and one day of exams left, so after that, it should be great, and videos should be pumping out. Okay, guys, thank you for watching the video, and I'll see you again soon. Peace.